Well, today um, will be my first blog. Today is January 18th. Um, yesterday actually was my first day uh, back to training. Um, I actually, the first time I worked out, well, last time I worked out was November, around the third or fourth, right before the Natural Universe, Natural Olympia. And um, so I've taken all of November off, all of December off, and just about all of January off. So um, I've been just kind of resting, letting my, letting my joints heal. Um, you know, I did six shows last year, six, six guest posing appearances, and actually it took a lot out of me. So um, I took this, I took about three, two and a half months off, three months of no training. I didn't step a step a foot into the gym. So I just been kind of relaxing. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's not even an off season. Actually, it's not. So um, you know. But here it is, January. This is basically my January 1st. Yesterday was my January 1st. Um, I was sick for about three to four weeks, so that's another reason I didn't, you know, my, my intention was to train January 1st, but that didn't happen. So um, here I am, this is the 18th, and yesterday was my first session back, and um, I did uh, train back, and I did start off with some, uh, what did we do? Uh, we did some hammer strength rows, one arm hammer strength rows. Um, we did about four to five sets of those, about you know anywhere from 20 to 15 to 10, 10 reps. Um, went from there, we went to uh, pull downs and pull ups. We superset that. Um, when I say we, you know my girlfriend Julianne, um, we will be trained together on certain exercises, certain um, body parts. So. Um, we did the superset, you know, that with pull-ups, and then we moved on to, um, we did some rows, some standing rows, rope rows, I call them, and we did that with um, close grip, overhand close grip pull-downs, um, to work more of that middle part of the back, and then we finished off with um, a machine, a machine rope, a low machine rope. So um, that's what we did yesterday and you know I just I kind of kept everything a little bit quicker pace um, the workout lasted for about 45 minutes to an hour went a little bit you know my pace was pretty quick um, that way I can get my heart rate up um, really didn't go too heavy if not at all I, mean, I don't think I went heavy at all um, from what I used to and um, like I said that was the first day back in the gym I'm about to go hit chest right now in the next 15 minutes um, get about an hour chest workout in and then slowly get back into it um, my meals um, haven't been I tell you right now haven't been on par today was actually the first time I've had three meals and here it is 2.30 um, usually I've only been having about two meals per day um, my weight is about right now it's about 20 actually it's about 202 203 right around there um, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that's going to sit here and bullshit you and say, you know, oh yeah, I got up to 230 and, or, you know, I'm 174. No, I mean, I'm 202. I haven't trained. Um, I haven't been eating. You know, I've been eating, you know, tacos and carne asada burritos out here in California. Um, at the same time, I've also been eating hamburgers. Um, and, you know, when you eat, when you eat more of the fast food type fatty foods, um, where I'll go out to like, you know, different restaurants. Um, the other night we went to a place called Greystone. Had some steak, um, mashed potatoes, um, and tiramisu, tiramisu, or whatever it's called. Um, you know, we had that on Sunday, and then one day we had something else. And then last night we had Chinese, I had Chinese, I had Chinese food. So, you know, it's, I haven't been on point with my diet until today. You know, today I picked it up a little bit more, so it's going to gradually increase. You know, my meals have been about eight ounces, eight to nine ounces of chicken, um, oatmeal, brown rice. Um, my carbs are pretty much right now the targo. That's that's my main carb source. I've been taking, you know, basically the whole thing. I'm, even even in this whole time since uh, November, I still continue to take the targo. So you know, only only reason I do is because it gives me gives me some carbs, gives me keeps me functioning. Um, but other than that, I haven't taken any supplements until, until today, yesterday. Um, I took um, my multivitamins. Um, I 
took some creatine and started with my creatine again. Um, I always make sure I take my um, zinc, magnesium, zinc, 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 ZMA at night before I go to sleep. Um, uh, take my Vitargo with my pre-workout and I always take my breast chain amino acids, my digestive enzymes I started taking again. And you know, I've been incorporating some more vitamin C into my, into my um, in the last two days. So I only make sure I still come, stay on top of that. Um, but, you know, like I said, this is my first blog. Um, I really don't have too much to say. Um, as far as shows this year, you know, I had I had planned six, doing six shows, but I'm, I'm still not sure yet. Um, I'm going to, you know, talk to my team, my sponsor. Um, I'm going to talk to Julianne about how many shows I think I'm going to be doing this year. There's only two shows I know for sure that I'm doing are The Natural Universe and The Natural Olympia. The Natural Universe is in October in Australia, and The Natural Olympia is in Reno, Nevada in November. So those are the shows I do know I'm doing for sure. And, um, you know, the rest is yet to come. Um, I'll have some maybe a guest posing parents here and there, but I'm going to try to keep this year light. Um, yesterday, you know, Sunday, Sunday I met with um, um, a producer that wants to work with me on a reality TV show that's going to be up and coming um, this year. So um, I'm going to be working with them. Um, hopefully it'll get casted with you know, MTV, um, VH1, a couple of different types of um, TV networks. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, so you know, I got a got a couple things in the store, and um, I'm gonna push with more of my personal training. Um, you know, this year I'm gonna do more personal training with my clients. Um, I have a couple guys right now that are getting ready for shows. Um, so I'm gonna be really kind of concentrating more on that um, with contest prep this year. Um, usually, you know, I only take on about two, three, four at the most clients per year um, to make sure they get the full attention. I don't like taking on like, you know, some guys do like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 guys. You know, to me that's just ridiculous. You know, um, some guys can do it, some can't. You know, I know an individual that's very, very good at his leg work. Um, you know, he brings these guys into shape. Um, but, you know, I've, I've always been a personal trainer since 1989. You know, I have my degree. Um, <clears throat> But I've never, I've always done contest prep, um, you know, but I've never taken on a lot of people, so I don't really, you know, out there market myself as a contest prep guy, you know, guys will come to me, I have one guy right now, Neon Lee, um, you know, he did the USA's last year in the NPC, you know, he plays fourth, um, you know, he's, he won a couple, I think about three or four NPC shows, a couple of um, natural IMBA, IMBA shows, um, you know, and this year we're looking to take him to I think about four top top um, national level shows this year. Um, I know he's going to start off with the West Coast Classic, um, Team Universe, um, USA's and Nationals. So um, I'm going to be helping him get ready for that, along with a couple other guys. Um, I got a guy out of from Texas, a guy from Sacramento um, that I'll be working with, a couple other guys too. But um, you know, these guys, I've been, I've been working with them through the whole off-season. And, you know, they've made very, very, you know, good, I mean, really substantial gains, in my opinion. You know, a lot of people, you know, when I give them a workout to do, they really, you know, they don't, they don't know what to expect until they start doing it. And, you know, they'll text me, and, you know, at the end of the workout, I was like, what the hell did you just put me through? Um, you know, this is like hell, and hell and back. You know, that's the way, you know, that's the way, I have my clients train, that's the way I train. So, um, you know, the, the, you know, the diet speaks for itself. And, you know, anytime that, you know, to me, if you pick a contest prep, you know, contest prep guy, you know, make sure that, you know, you get the full amount for your money, not just, you know, the guy who's does a pretty kind of diet. You know, and that's all you get. You know, contest prep means the full contest prep. You know, teaches and you, know, you learn about your uh, posing choice, music posing. Um, you know, we should be able to you know help you through all the way up until the time of the show. The tan, when to tan, when to stop tanning. 
um, what color to use. Um, a lot of people just pick closing trunks because they say, oh, I like that color. <laughs> you know, that's what I thought too when I first started competing, but it's, it doesn't work that way. You know, sometimes a color doesn't look good on you on stage. It's more distracting. Um, you don't want a color that's distracting. So, you know, that, that falls along with the contest prep too. Um, you know, I help my clients do all that. Um, you know, I, don't, I just don't do the diet part and then you can offer or the training the diet and training and that's it. Make sure you know, they're taken, you know, taken care of all the way up until the show because I remember when I first competed, I was kind of left out there alone. And it was very, very hard. So, um, you know, I make sure that you know, my clients go through the whole, whole deal um, as far as you know, the contest prep. So I want to start focusing on that more. Make sure you can, you can check that out at um, either on my website or you can go to evolvefitnesspro.com or kiyoshimudi.com and um, check that out. And uh, other than that, today is, like I said, it's the 18th. And today I'm going to go hit the chest right now. And about another five more, five, five minutes. The gym's only two blocks away and the beach is a block away. so. Um, the next time I hit this vlog up, I might be doing this vlog maybe once a week, a um, couple, of, maybe two or three days. But next time I, I get this vlog out, I'll be at, I'll be at the beach. So um, make sure you check out, you know, the vlog at kiyoshimidi.com, or you can go to um, my YouTube YouTube video, um, or you can check out evolvefitnesspro.com, um, and you know, make sure you can check it out on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. Um, I'm also on MySpace, which I don't even think people use anymore. Um, but I just have it up there. I, you know, I just found out that it's they changed the whole settings on it, and I have no clue on how to use that thing. So um, you, know, you can check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, and until then, I'll see you there. Make sure you check out my, my blogs.